Hi, my name is Raven Brownson, and this is my story about how I'm getting more out of real estate. So I'm 24. Um, I graduated from college in 2017. I work full time and part time. And I know that's a little radical, but I originally wanted to pay off my student loan debt. I had credit card debt. Um, I had an old car. You know, I started reading books and kind of thinking I did not want to live in debt. And there was a point where I was paying around $800 a month towards my debt. And I think that those things ended up helping me in the home buying process. I think it helped me get better credit so that when this opportunity came, I was ready, or at least I was more ready than maybe the average 24 year old. Growing up, me, my mom, my dad, my stepbrothers, um, we all lived together until about the age of 10 when they divorced. Um, at which point we moved into shelters, uh, my first shelter. Uh, I've actually lived in about four or five of them, some of them like over and over again. I went to see my senior prom from a shelter. I remember like missing out on little like church trips and things like that because, you know, I couldn't leave overnight or I couldn't sleep overnight. Between those times we were different hotels um, we lived in hotels for a while, like just kind of back and forth. My mom usually didn't have a car, so it was like a lot of bus catching and things like that. Um, just not really a lot of stability, really. I remember losing a lot of pictures, a lot of clothes, because every time we moved, we couldn't take everything with us. Um, you can only carry so much on a bus. And I remember thinking, you know what, I'm like Jesus because he never had a place to call a home. So, and that's just kind of like the way that I, I coped with it. You know, I would have friends who would have homes and pools and things like that. And I would kind of feel a little inadequate. Like maybe like this is my lot in life. Like maybe there's something wrong with me. Um, and so going to college, UCF was kind of like a way out for me. It was kind of a way to like try to mark my own path, do my own thing. Um, and I went four years later. I didn't go back. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to see like what life in Orlando was like. Um, I ended up meeting my realtor um, and his wife. I love them so much. <laughs> I met them my freshman year. Uh, got connected to like church um, and that really helped me stay grounded. I ended up finding a job, finishing school. And then I remember going to some home buyers course I mean, it was like no big deal. I just kind of went because Tommy invited me. Um, and they had pizza, so you know, food is always kind of like a, okay, I guess I'll go, you know, since y'all gonna feed me. That was like around September, I remember going. December of that same year of 2018, I had registered for an event, the Neighborhood Lift, um, and they were offering that you could like uh, qualify for a down payment assistance of $15,000. So I kind of thought they were just gonna talk about it and. It was gonna be nothing, you know? So I signed up, I registered, I went, and then I qualified. And I remember everyone asking, are you looking for houses yet? Did you find a house yet? Do you know where you're gonna move? And I remember being like, first of all, this was just a thing that I was coming to. Like, there was not, you know, like, I'm not looking for a house. Like, I, I mean, I guess, kinda, you know? The process became so intense so fast that it kinda like caught me off guard. Uh, Cause I, I had always wanted a home, obviously, like from my past and my background, but I didn't think that it was gonna happen as soon as it did. Not being married, not having any children, just me and my cat, <laughs> I really wasn't thinking that I was gonna like move into a home as soon as I did. The concept that you get married first, and then you find a home, and then you have kids in the home, and you guys like build it up together and like grow, but the mindset that I've had is like, you know, you don't have to do things the way that everybody else does them and that there are sometimes more opportunities when you take a different path or a different route or you think outside of the box. And I think that honestly, like glory to God, because even me coming from where I came from and not having any home or not having a place to call home, you know, I've never lived in a house. I grew up in an apartment and then it was different apartments and then it was different hotels and then it was different shelters. People who kind of got to experience what it was like to grow up in a house. Um, and maybe like what it's like to clean a house and things like that. You know, I'm kind of learning as I go along. I really appreciated having my realtor and knowing him for as long as I did because I know even in realty, people can be more interested like in their own goals um, and them trying to find, you know, like make profit off of you than like helping you find something that's really gonna be for you and really help you. 
and the first home that I had a contract with I think was gonna be way too much for me and I really appreciated Tommy because he did not push it on me he didn't say oh but this is gonna be great because that home was technically more money so he would have made more money off of that purchase than off of the home that I eventually settled with it was just nice to have him give me the advice that my parents couldn't give me necessarily because they don't you know they hadn't experienced it before you know we were kind of all learning together they don't teach me this in high school I didn't learn about this I know how to do math, I think. Um. <laughs> you know, you really don't have to let your past dictate your future. The things that you want to pursue, you can find ways to do it. Working two jobs is not impossible. I still have two jobs. I still work full-time and part-time even after the house. I definitely want to own more property. I want to be able to do more with my home. I want to be able to open up my home to other people. I don't think that I have a home just so that me and my cat can watch TV. I think that you know, it is a, a ministry opportunity. It's an opportunity to share light and positivity with other people. It's important for me, you know, even as a young black woman, um, because culture doesn't really teach ownership, you know, more so flashy things or you know, you look good, you smile, you meet guys, you know, you listen to the like the nice music or get a nice car, but you know, home ownership is not something that's pushed, and so even with that, I kind of want to have that be more of the story that is like preached. You don't want to look wealthy and not actually be wealthy, you know? And home ownership in itself is such a monumental aspect of wealth. I don't want to be rich just to be rich, <laughs> but I do think that, you know, with money and with property, you know, you have the ability to impact the world in ways that you wouldn't be able to if you didn't have it. Education is important, home ownership is important, investing. I mean, you never know what opportunities present themselves from you knowing about these things. Home ownership and investment is not as difficult as it may sound, even if they are unfamiliar words. Don't let um, your lack of knowledge in an area stop you from pursuing knowledge in that area. Don't let um, past experiences hinder you or even define you because those things don't define you you define who you are you get to say who you are you get to say what your character is and you get to say who you want to be go after your dreams pursue the things that seem difficult challenge yourself challenge those around you you'll be surprised of the outcome